So, Bulletbird, I heard our arch-nemesis, Evil Bill, recently arrived here on Earth. Can you please catch up our viewers on some of the background of this scoundrel? Sacre bleu! That foobaptic monster is here on Earth, too? I'm afraid so, Astro. Okay, Cosmic, if I must. Rising from the ashes of the Phoenix, a dark and malevolent force rose to power. An alien named Evil Bill came from the planet Masshole to infiltrate and conquer the planet Earth or, at the very least, attain a job just above middle management in order to subject his minions to his will and suck the life force from them. Evil Bill's goal has expanded since arriving from the planet Masshole to include subjugation of the world's most benevolent species, Canadians. Little did he know there was a secret weapon this species had that could easily fend off such a dark force. A weapon known as the passive-aggressive bomb which, when detonated, causes intense feelings of guilt as the victim's atoms disperse, leaving nothing left but a pile of ashes and eyeballs. Despite having knowledge of this weapon, Evil Bill was driven by his self-interest, greed, and tyranny to devise a plan so evil and dark even he would shudder when pondering its cold, calculated roadmap. It is a visceral trail guide through a valley of misanthropic musings of fear and terror. Evil Bill stores this weapon in a black box, which he carries with him at all times. Exposure to this weapon can cause a myriad of destructive calamities to manifest upon the Earth. One such calamity occurred in November 1968 in a pawn shop near Washington, D.C., where Evil Bill exposed a man by the name of Richard Nixon to a well-priced and attractive-looking tape recorder, which he could not resist buying. He was later found to have recorded himself while trying to purchase Cuban cigars during a telephone call with the Cuban Embassy. In February 2018, Evil Bill exposed the box's contents to a Bollywood costume designer who went on to present themselves as a top fashion designer to Prime Minister Crudeau and his family during a state visit to India, which resulted in them being wildly overdressed for a local bar mitzvah in New Delhi thus humiliating the entire Canadian population. In response, the populace of Canada banned the Prime Minister from all Tim Horton's shops for a period of six months. The most destructive moment, of course, occurred when a group of investors attempted to promote Philon Muskegee's gas-powered Pesla rocket as a tour bus business between Earth and the planet Mars. Their first group of passengers for the manifest were to be a group of Catholic nuns who were believed to be in league with a politician named Smut Getz from California, known for his charity work in halfway houses and for young teenage girls. In a final move to neutralize evil Bill, the United States Space Force created a weapon under the brilliant inspiration and guidance of a former unadvanced research projectionary agency, ERPA for short, employee by the name of Vinnie Serfdom. By isolating Evil Bill's greed with a degreedometer laser, they could cause a temporary implosion of Evil Bill's mental emotional acuity and cause him to be temporarily humbled by forcing him to see what a bleephole he really is, particularly for allowing the creation of Windows 8. Because as we all know, if you can't laugh at yourself, you might be missing the joke of the century.